Um, I've just done one oil prints um, with acrylic paints and then on this one I've added um, oil pastels um, to create more of a bruising effect and then on this one I've added uh, aquatone pencils so it gives more of a loose effect um, to create um, more emphasis on the bruising. These which I come from observation from the shop pictures shown. <laughs> These are quick prints using acrylic paint. This is artist research. I'm just working in the style of um, Sean Gray at the moment, and it's all about distortion and um, a haphazard objects all over the page sort of thing so I'm just trying to do my own take on it whilst trying to make the objects look quite surreal he does them quite abstract so I'm trying to do them surreal um, and I'm just having a play around with angles and things at the moment just to see what effect it would have. Um, I'm looking forward to um, the artists come in because I think it would be good to try out something new like I've never done collage before it would be working in a new medium using different textiles textures things like that um, I think it'd just be another um, another skill to acquire to put towards your sketchbook towards your projects so that would be really good that's why I want to work It's a really good opportunity um, for the students to do this workshop. So um, I've had a look on the website and I found this image and I thought that this could apply um, to some of the stuff that you guys have been doing in your work. Um, and I just wanted to know what you thought about it. Uh, I like it because it's like a mood board and that shows like the ideas that he's came up like with from the final piece. And in my artwork I come up with a mood board before I to, like decide on any of my pieces I'm going to make. Um, I like the way he's used the bright colours and I like the way he's laid the fabric because I could, could yeah, because like you could, I can imagine it as like a, a dress or a skirt with laid fabric. Yeah. Bright colours. Yeah, yeah. It's a good way to like um, stimulate your mind as well. I think it'd be great to work with someone like an artist or something that's like really good for Yeah, someone that's, you know, I mean, these, this is a list here of all the people that he's worked with. Oh, so, yeah. somebody that has actually, you know, works in industry, who's sold their work. Really um, so yeah, yeah so to get, you know, inspiration from somebody like that is going to help you. You know, rather than me telling yeah. you what to do, you know, <laughs> somebody, nice somebody else. Like yeah, artist. yeah, definitely. So, um, during the workshop, I mean, you, I think you mainly worked with um, different papers. So, do you think you could do something with fabric? 
Well, we could use fabric, but you could also like use the newspaper, like as well. I think, like made like, in the fabric, or even print words on the fabric, so it still looks similar. But then you're mirroring different types of things, like different fabrics, but the same style. Right. So you could use um, printing techniques that we've done in the past yeah, to sort yeah. of create something that looks like paper but yeah. is on fabric. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds sounds good. So you you looking forward to him coming and yeah I think it'll be good for the college and I think it it's good coming from an artist's point of view rather than just what we usually do in like a few months time. Yeah, it's just something new, which is really good. Yeah, and you're gonna come to the opening. Yeah, right, good. Yeah, brilliant.